Hey y'all, Grand Rising. So we're gonna see what does the collective need to be aware of. Let's see y'all. Okay, well damn. We got death here, okay. We have here readiness, daydream, overloaded. We got a sweetheart. And we got an introvert. Hmm. We got third wheel at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be feeling overloaded in a situation. Feeling stressed out. Overwhelmed. Burdened. Maybe they're ready to end this. This could be you. You could be this sweetheart energy. With this introvert, you could be like this with your person, you know? Like, y'all be, y'all could be in the same. Yeah, look, we got this family card here, okay? Like, you, this could be somebody who's, like, in a family situation. You guys could have a child involved. And y'all could be in the same bed like this, you know, just in your phone. You know, it's giving me roommate energy at this point, you know? Um, y'all probably not even sleeping in the same bed. Y'all probably sleeping in the same house, but somebody's sleeping in the living room. The other one's in the room with the baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm getting from this. And the collective is always in this sweetheart energy. So with this baby and this baby, there could be something going on with a DNA test. I don't know, but I'm seeing for sure that uh, there's a baby here. Okay. It's a family situation. Somebody, you know, maybe mama, baby, daddy, and you guys are just not not in alignment anymore okay so somebody's daydreaming of the day that this shit is going to be over okay somebody's like done okay they're day daydreaming about this ending they're ready to end the situation because they feel overwhelmed they feel stressed out it says here obligation overwhelm and assessment somebody's feeling like this is an obligation you know this is not fun anymore this is not what i want this is not bringing me happiness, you know? This is not what I was expecting to get out of a relationship, out of a family situation, whatever. All right, let's see what else. But somebody's definitely daydreaming of when this is going to be over. And I feel like this could be you. All right, this is the collective right here feeling like, you know, like they want to they wanna end this already. Yeah, we have idea. Like, this is what you're thinking about, you know? Like, you're like, you know what? This is not going to work. This person's not going to change. I know that there's a child involved. And for some of y'all, if it's not a child, maybe you have, you know, assets or maybe you guys live together, you know, but whatever it is, you already thinking about ending this. You already thinking about putting a stop to the drama, the toxicity, whatever it is that you are dealing with that's causing you to feel this right here, stress, you are ready to let it go. All right, we have eternal love in the reverse. This is definitely a connection. Somebody's dealing with somebody that they don't really want to be in no eternal relationship with. Like, they really don't. All right, we have here commitment. Yeah, this person is being binded. And they've been hesitating. And I feel like I keep saying this person or they, but I'm talking to you directly, all right? You've been hesitating. You know, should I stay? Should I go? I don't know, right? But you you know what's up because you feel binded. Look how it says here, binding. Contract. You know, again, feeling like it's too much. This is not what you want. And that is okay. You should not be obligated to be with anybody. And I've said this before, even if you have a child. And I'm speaking as someone who has a child, you know, like you don't have to be with the person that you had a, a baby with. Okay, that's, that's, that's not necessary. And I know some people be like, oh, you know, how are you going to say that? Listen, those kids that, that be around these, these type of connections right here, where you're not even in love with each other, you're not even happy with each other. It's like one person is in one room, the other person is in the other room, talking to the next bitch, talking to the next dude. You know what I'm saying? Kids pick up on that energy. And now that I'm doing readings, I'm dealing with people who are experiencing someone, you know, like, who, who who has childhood issues, you know, like, oh, this fuck boy, you know, why he's like this, this fuck girl, why she's like that. We dig deeper. They got childhood issues, abandonment issues. They grew up in a, in a toxic environment, you know, like it stems from this right here. People trying to force shit. You trying to force it. And God does not want us to force anything. We're supposed to be flexible and ready for change and embrace change because 
we got to release. It's like, you know, like it's like a process. We got to keep on releasing what doesn't serve us. We got to experience things. We learn from it and we let it go. And that's, that's the, the motion that you need to be on. You need to be okay with letting go of what doesn't serve you because God is always going to replace and multiply whatever you leaving behind. All right. Not like, you know, God is not going to multiply a bunch of bitches for you because you leave in <laughs> a karmic, but God is going to replace this karmic energy with a true divine counterpart, a true divine soulmate. So when people stay stuck in these type of situations, they miss out on true divine love, like real love that a lot of people don't experience because a lot of people settle. All right. And I've been learning a lot about that, y'all. I'll be now that I'll be doing these readings and I'm like, you know, learning so much about everything. I just be looking at real life situations and I'll be like, damn, there's a lot of people out here that settled. There's a lot of people out here that uh, they pretending to be in happy relationships. You know, they fronting for the world, fronting for the gram. You know what I'm saying? But in reality, a lot of people are settling. Uh, they're, they're scared. They have a fear of change. They have a fear of the unknown. Uh, they want to keep up a front. They want to stay for the kids. They want to, you know, have somebody who's going to bring them stability. Like there's a lot of ulterior motives in relationships. Like I know that I probably sound a little bit naive and shit like that, but it's just because I'm, I'm in the sweetheart energy. Just like you collective. We are good people. We are, uh, you know, divine, you know, like we don't have this m malicious, energy in us you know we don't we don't be using people you know what i'm saying so when i see shit like this i just be like damn like, there's a lot of a lot of people that be using people a lot of people that just be settling it's like a lot of sad shit going on out here it's, it, it's not a lot of people that are really truly happily in love okay and it is what it is so talking about all of that we got self-love and i feel like that's what spirit is saying here that you need to do you need to focus on yourself all right, need to focus on you. You need to love yourself. What else? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's the goal, to love yourself, to put yourself first. When you do this, you will attract the love that you deserve, all right? But you got to put yourself first. You got to choose you. You got to let go of this energy right here that don't serve you. All right, we got fury. So maybe somebody's mad that this is the goal. You got a karmic that's mad that they don't want... Yeah, we got fate. You know, they could be doing readings, this karmic. All right. Or they're just mad that um, they're just mad that they know that this is not going to it's not going to last or something like that. Somebody's mad here. Yeah, look, we got mask. So somebody got a reading done. Maybe you did. All right. And you know that this is not going to go nowhere. And this karmic is mad because with the mask, they know that they are being exposed. Yeah, we got to live and learn. This is my karmic card, you know, because karmics is all about living and learning. So that's what you're doing here. You're living and learning. So this karmic energy had a mask on and you learn from this. Yeah, we got evidence. I'm telling you, somebody could have went and got a reading or some type of evidence that you found about this karmic that they had a mask on and they mad that they got exposed because they was trying to bind you. They wanted you to be stuck in this connection. All right, for some of y'all, you know, it could be... Uh, you know, apply the rose however it fits, but I'm definitely getting here a relationship because we got this kid here, this baby, we got this whole, you know, family thing going on here, but you know, apply how it fits for your situation. All right. But that's what I'm seeing here. Let's see what else. Yeah. With this schedule card, I feel like it came on right after evidence. So you probably found out that this, this person was like, doing something you know it says here planning you know uh management scheduling you know and you see how this person is trying to trap the little the little clock that's what i feel like this person's trying to do that like they were trying to trap you all right they probably try to trap you with this child maybe you found out the child's not yours or maybe you found out that it is yours but you found out that um this person was also doing more than that you know to bind you they could have been again if they're getting readings done and shit like that they could have been doing voodoo all right but we're gonna we're gonna keep going all right, we have third wheel again. So that could be this evidence. You found out that, yeah, family. That you found out that this person that you had a family with was cheating and there was a third wheel. All right, they was wearing a mask. All right, this is somebody that you was saving up with. Somebody that you was, uh, again, having a family and trying to start something with. All right, but um, let me pull some other cards. Holy Spirit, what is this evidence? What is the evidence? Okay, so we have movement in the reverse. Whatever you found out definitely stopped forward movement. And we have caution. It definitely 
got your attention you know like you like oh wait hold on now like this is some shit here i did not expect that okay like you know and it, and it, and it, and it caused you to start moving accordingly you know like now you paying attention to the red flags you're paying attention to what's around you and you're starting to realize this person was wearing a mask the whole time all right so we have here wow we have abuse of power discord weakness and security fear you know that definitely with abuse of power is what i said this person was doing some type of voodoo trying to have you binded to them okay and we have the strength card the strength card is trying to have strength over a situation so with this card in the reverse it could be um like it says here self-doubt not strength you know but i feel like this person definitely has self-doubts and they're insecure which is why they're trying to bind you all right but with abuse of power it's like the strength card you know times 10 this person is like uh uh, a tyrant, you know, somebody who, who needs to have control and domination over you. Okay. Let's see what else. So we have at the bottom questioning. It says here, uh, exhaustion, questioning motivations, paranoia and defensiveness. You could have been, or you're feeling now like you have to question this person's intentions with whatever it is that you found out here that caused you to be, uh, you know, cautious. All right. Um, and it could have caused you to feel paranoid or basically defensive, you know, like, bitch, what you, what type of shit you doing here? Or dude, you know, what you doing here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is this? All right. Whatever it was, we got a ton of swords here. So definitely it was like a rock bottom, you know, it definitely ended a situation or, or you're ready. You're, you're ready to end it because we saw here that you're ready to end the situation. You're ready to let this shit go. You've been dreaming, daydreaming of what life was going to be being free from this energy and not having to deal with this shit that has you feeling overloaded. So definitely Ten of Swords is a betrayal. There was a betrayal here. Uh, somebody definitely did something that with comfort in the reverse, you know, it caused you to, to not feel comfortable about this. You know, like it, it got you awake, you know, with caution. You know, I just feel like you are awake now. Like, you know, like now you're starting to see clearly what is going on and what been going on around you this whole time. All right. So we have here the Two of Swords. It says here, uh, a difficult decision, all right? And it also talks about a stalemate. So this connection could have been on a stalemate. We already saw y'all y'all are like roommates at this point. There's a lot of stress, a lot of drama going on here. But it could also be you feeling right now like stalemate with this decision that you have to make, all right? And this is your confirmation that you are, you are correct, you know? This person was moving funny. It was doing voodoo. There was a betrayal. They was cheating, whatever, but definitely you need to move on, all right? And this this energy was coming out yesterday, so I feel like it's going to keep coming out for the next couple of days because spirit is trying to guide you away from what doesn't serve you, you know? And it's easier said than done, so it's going to be like a process, you know? Like spirit is going to tell you today, yesterday, tomorrow, you know, like just keep moving forward, all right? Like I feel like you just got to keep hearing it, <laughs> all right? Or maybe you just need a more reassurance, all right but definitely this is what you need to do you need to walk away from this energy live and learn you learn from it and it's time to let it go all right i'm gonna pull some cards from here and then we're gonna close this out all right holy spirit what does the collector need to know yeah look liber liberation see what i'm saying it's time to let go you gotta let go to grow closing with what message all right we have here Transformation is beautiful, which is exactly what Spirit is asking you to do. It's time for a transformation. Every ending comes with a new beginning. And we have the number 11. The Spirit is telling you with this 11, you are elevating. You know, you are raising your vibration. You're ready now for this new new chapter, new cycle in your life. Okay. And we have here, healer. You could be a healer or Spirit is asking you, again, 32, to be ready for change. Five, be ready for change. Uh, this is going to be something that's going to heal you. Something that's going to bring you... Yeah, look, you cannot make this up. Big, happy changes. Yeah, there's something that's going to bring you big, happy changes. We have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Spirit is saying you are never alone. Right now, I'm showing you that you are not alone because I don't know your business. I don't know what's going on in your life, right? So how do I know this? Because your spirit team is always with you and they're letting you know we're always with you. You are never alone. It's okay to let go of this energy that doesn't serve you, all right? You got to do what you got to do, all right? They're telling you here to focus on the positive and keep moving forward. Let go to grow. God is going to align you with everything that you deserve. Okay? That's what I got here, y'all. Peace.